Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice, and today we're gonna have a little different project as normal. I wanna make a cup holder for the thin pit to put my cup in there. So I found some scrap material which will just fit that cup just perfectly or any other cup of this size. I'm gonna make a bottom plate here. And I have a piece of copper which we'll be using in the center. Now why is that copper here? The copper is here because I want to make this cup holder heated or cooled. If I have a glass in there with say Pepsi or whatever or any other beverage then I can cool it or heat it via a tech element which is Peltier. So it's a electric thermal module what you find like in those electric uh, mini fridges and stuff and I have to happen a bad mini fridge we're gonna take that tech out but that's all for later for right now I'm gonna have to machine this to make a cup holder out of it now I want to recess this area a little bit so it fits within the tubing now the main problem I'm having here is that my lace cannot take that four inch stock piece as it is so I have to draw a hole in the center, put a bolt through it, then put it in the lace so I can machine the outside down to make that smooth and face both sides and then set off to go inside the tube. And once I have set this off, then I will be able to mount it into my chuck and finish it off. So. I'm going to show you why I can mount it in at the lace here. Okay, here we have the lace. Here's that piece. And it's larger than my chuck. So even if I use uh, the reversed chuck, I, I will not be able to get it large enough out before they drop out of the, the chuck holder. So I have no other option than drilling a hole so I can face it and that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna get started here on centering, finding a center for this and then drill a hole and then we'll back at the, at the lace. Okay so I already faced it, added the bolt after drilling it out and now I'm gonna make the recess here. All right, so we're getting really, really close fitting that tube over here. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and let that cool down because uh, this has expanded through the heat. It's pretty hot. So I'm gonna let it cool down because it will shrink a little bit. And I don't want this not to be a snug fit. So let's wait a little bit and then we'll see how, how it fits. So this is completely cooled down. So now if I put that tube over there, it really sticks to it. Then I'm gonna warm this one up a little bit and then I'm gonna press it on there to make sure it never comes out by itself. And I'm just gonna use the vise to do this and then put it back into the lace with the outside jaws and make a nice little run. All right, I got it out of the ice box. I had it in there for about 15 minutes. It's ice cold, can hardly touch it. Let's try to get this uh, fit in here. First we're gonna see if we can align this. I'm gonna put a piece of hardwood in here. So then mar the end of it. Because the outside of the tubing is gonna get machined. And now you can watch this going in. And here we are. Looks good. I think it's a very good fit here. And as you can see, this is a little smaller than the tubing. And now we're gonna run the lace over and turn this all equal. Okay, now we have the tube with the end cap in the lace. Let's see if we can just skim over it to make this all equal. It's 
like polished here. Looks great. Gonna relieve that edge a little bit. And let's take care of the other side. Was able to mount it in this chuck. It seems to be very solid in there. I'm uh, just going to be very careful with the amount I'm taking off so I don't push too hard. Let's see if we can get this going. I have to get rid of that edge here on the outside, but other than that, all right. Yeah, that's good here. Let's get it out and take a look at it. I'm just going to degrade this on the inside, so I'm going to run the sanding sponge in here. And uh, it's looking pretty good to me. All right. Next step, now let's see if you can get a copper core made for our cup holder. I already put that scrap piece in here. And let's see if you can machine that down. This will take a little bit because copper gets really hot when it's machined. So I have to wait a little bit in between passes uh, so the copper doesn't start to gum up. Okay, so now we have the right diameter in the center and this will go from the inside out but just for testing here it is now very tight fit with our hole here so this will go from the inside out and we're going to press fit this we're going to put this in the freezer and we're going to warm this up and then we press it in with the vise so the next step is i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to machine this side which is right now clamped in the chuck okay now we're going to do the side because inside the cup holder we're going to thin in this out just uh, enough for the cup to fit over it and touch the aluminum and i'm going to try to make it so that it fits most cups so if this is this here is the cup here and we're going to fit it on here like so then i want that uh, copper piece to be inside here below that rim there's a little uh, you know it goes down a little bit that's from making that cup I want this to fit pretty much all cups, so I'm gonna make it very thin, so just enough to go into that rim, but not much, not too, not too deep. So let's give it a couple of runs here and see how that goes. Yeah, that's smooth. Now let's see if the cup goes over it, and if it does, then be good. Cause there's not a lot of room there. See if we need more. I think we kind of good on that cup here. And that should fit every other cup because this cup is pretty shallow on the inside. But I think that's that's pretty good. So now I'm just gonna finish off those edges and then we're gonna press fit it in the vise. Okay, here we are. A machined copper core piece will go in here. We're gonna press fit this in so it is flat with this part down here. And when a cup goes into the cup holder, then this We'll make closer contact to that, not perfect, because we have to have kind of tolerance in there because every cup is different. I measured uh, five different cups here, what I have, and they all fit now. So if I, if the cup sits on the aluminum, there's a little gap between this and this, but you know, it, at least it makes some way a closer contact to it than just sitting on the aluminum with that rim. This is the plan. Press fit this in. I'm gonna put it into the vise and we press it down. And I'll see you at the vise. Okay, we're at the vise. Uh, we're gonna get started here with our setup. So, in the hole, I added a little bit of uh, epoxy. It is a press fit, but I want to make sure that it's all 100%. So, there's a little bit of GB weld here, and I added inside of that hole, I added a little bit of this epoxy. Okay, here we are now. I pressed it all in with the center here. And you can see I uh, put a washer on that so it could protrude a little above the surface of the aluminum because that shaft was like a hair longer. So it's all in now, so we're good to go. Now we're gonna go proceed with the milling part here. Okay, so here we are. And here is that module I salvaged from the old fridge. We have our copper core inserted. Sticks a little out here, but that's not a problem. And this is gonna go right here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna recess a very shallow area for that tech module, a very fine outline, just so that this sit and it doesn't shift around when I mount it. I'm gonna measure this out, and then I'm gonna machine this section out, and this will also flatten then that core. 
Okay, so it's all measured out. And this is where our tech module goes. So I'm gonna go over now and machine this area out. Okay, so we have it in the mill. And now we're gonna machine this area out. Our tech module and see how it fits. Should just be fine. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. Okay, great. That part is done. Let's take it out of the machine and sand it a little bit. And then we go from there. Alrighty. Okay, so now we have machine this all out. It's very shallow, you can see it, and it's all flat and smooth. And now, we have a spot for our tech here. All right, that worked out. Next is we're gonna make a mounting solution for this tech. I'm gonna use here a stock aluminum piece 6061, so we can mount this piece to a 4040 profile with a heat sink, more like this. Next priority here is a clamping the tech to the cup holder. And then we go from there. Okay, so I found a piece of uh, HDPE, which is like marine board. It's a piece of scrap here. And I'm gonna make a half ring or three quarter ring for the cup holder. This way we can insulate the, the mounting from the aluminum to the heat sink or the cup holder. We do not want to have that in contact with the aluminum because it defeats the purpose. If we heat or cool the cup holder on the opposite side, then it trickles either cold or hot through it. So we're going to make a and the, this piece is not large enough to fit over it, so we're gonna make kind of like a three-quarter ring or something, and we'll see what we can do here. So first of all, I'm gonna draw this up and see how this would fit best. Let's get a pen, and this is kind of what we need here. Let's get out of the center and machine it down. We're going to cut some of those corners up roughly with the, with the jigsaw. Make a hole here to mount it then into the lace because again it's too large. And then we go from there. Alright, we put it in the lace and now we're going to see if we can get something round out of that. Alright, so it's not looking too bad here. Very clean. So let's get take that out. But I think this will work out and then we got a machine out here from the center for our tech. And then we bolt that onto the cup holder. All right. So I marked everything up. This is going to be the heat sink for our tech. And I had this piece of aluminum here. 6061 and that's where we're going to machine it out. The center is where the tech is going to make contact and we take both sides off. And here this is our plate which goes as an isolator between the heat sink and the cup holder. And we're going to machine this part out as well. And that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to go over to the mill and get this going. Okay, now we're at the mill. I'll get my caliper over here because we'll make sure that this, the width is exact as the tech is. That's fine. 
All looks good so far. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up here and then I'll be back. Alrighty, looking good. Let's clean it up a little bit and deburr it. Get over with the sanding sponge quickly. Just so it's safe to handle because these edges are really, very really sharp after machining. Okay, and that's gonna sand it quick and then we're gonna go over to the assembly table and see how that works out. So we machined this here and now you can see how that looks. All right, check goes on here. And you can see it's very nice and very close tolerances there. It's perfectly on here. It's gonna be our heat sink. Next step will be cutting this one out. Now you can also see here from the cutout what we did here. It fits perfectly. There's very very little wiggle room. So how this works is this one goes in here. That one goes on top. We're going to put a bolt through here and through here into this one here. So we're going to next machine this part out so this can go up here and then this one goes below. The cutter allows that heatsink and mount in one. So it's a heatsink and mount in one to go in like that and then we have here the mounting solution and up here we're going to make a panel for switches, LEDs or whatsoever. So that's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead now, go over to the mill and mill this part out. Okay, we have the mill. I already put that plate into the vise. I put a very small imp mill in here. That's a four fluid because if I put a larger imp mill in here, yeah, it would go faster, but we will have a larger radius in the corners, which I would have to remill at that point. So to avoid this, we guys just gonna use a small imp mill. Let's get a heat sink and check out this, how this worked out. This should go now in here, just trying. Okay, everything's looking good. We're gonna do those corners here with a file. We still have a little bit of a... We can put that in here. It doesn't go all the way over. We're in here because we just don't have really the rounded corners versus the edge here. So we do need to file this out uh, just a hair. A little bit of filing and we are good to go. So I'm gonna take it out. I'll show it to you. And then we're gonna go over with a square file. And here it is. Very nice and clean edges. See inside here a little bit. So run the deburring tool over it very gently. It's looking pretty good. All right, back to the assembly table. So it's time for drilling. I already marked all the holes which need to be drilled. I already drilled those. These are the mounting holes for the to the cup holder to mount this part to it. But first, before we can proceed, we got to drill all those holes. So there are one, two, three holes on this side, and then I have to remark on the side holes to clamp it to the profile. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, here we have the mill. All right, we have center. Okay, hole number one drilled. With a little brass brush. Next hole, we can leave now the center position as it is. So we don't have to do the Y axis, just the X. All right, that's look good too. And drill them out to the correct size. Okay. Now we have to drill a press. It's a piece here, and now we're gonna drill those out. First, we're gonna go through all of them, M6, and this one will be an M8.
Now we should be pretty golden here. All right, let's clean those holes out. All right, M6 for M6 for M8. Fantastic. Champering in my little bit, and I'll now we go from there. Okay, so now we're gonna mount that plate to the cup holder. I already did two of them, and now we're gonna do the other two. All right, so we're gonna see that we can drill them in, and it's all aligned, looks all good, so I think we're okay here. Now we're going to go over to the vise, cut the threads into it. And you can see here, I marked it, so I know which way it goes. So if I take it off and put it back on, I will remember what the correct dimensions are. Alright, let's go over to the vise. Okay, we have it mounted into the vise. I'm going to go ahead and thread those two here for our bolts, M4. Everything prepped here. Gonna make two passes so we don't ruin any threads in there. I have those jar protectors on here. This way I don't mar my cup holder. That nice finish. And I made those holes about 14 millimeter deep. And that whole bottom plate, which goes inside the cup holder, is 19. So let's clean this up a little bit and chamfer it. And that should work. is already okay so let's try this out if this works let's put this up here a little bit here's our arrow here's our other arrow uh, we have to drill those out to M4 before we can do anything here. Let me go over here quick and drill those out. I already made uh, here two markings. I'm going to make cable channels in that after we verify this is all working here. So with our marker right here. And let's screw this on. All right. Okay, so here we are, looking good, and then we'll see each other on the assembly bench. So, what we have done here was making a the couple itself, the plate, which goes on top, and the heat sink and mounting bracket. And that's it for today. Next time, I'm finishing the ultimate Simpit cup holder project, and that video is coming soon. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Don't forget to check out my Discord channel and visit my website at crashmetwice.com for more info on this and other project. If you would like to support this channel, you can buy me a nice cup of coffee from the link below or on my website. Hope you all enjoyed this video and hope I earned a like from you. Crash and twice, out.